Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. What am I talking about? I am talking about my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, there's my link tree down below. Come join the group, almost 110,000 members. We talk about all things reselling to include high dollar items that you can pick up cheap and flip for a profit. In this video, we are going to talk about those bolo items. If you like my hat, uh, Seems So Vintage made these. She is on Whatnot. We'll talk about more about the hats later on in the show. I know you guys know I love hats, so I am going to tell you about it. If you're not on Whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that. I'm selling on that platform five to six days or five to six shows a week now. I absolutely love it. So referral link down below, get $15 to shop when you join with that. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Hope you'll come hang out and see a show. Let's talk about the first one. It is a vintage Costa Boda tulip paper weight. And it is a hard to find item. She said, this is from Thrifted, I'm sorry, Thrift Assista. She got it at, uh, doesn't say, but she bought it for two and sold in four days for $160. Yeah, that's definitely a bolo. Carnival Cruise Line floating Bluetooth speakership changes color and is rechargeable. Well, that's interesting. Saw this at a Goodwill on a cart, but I got sidetracked and forgot about it. Checked out. Then, thank goodness, walked back in and they had it sitting on the counter for $5. Grabbed it so fast, I put it on auction for, I believe, $128, but been listed about a month or more. Someone sent an offer of 80, took it really fast. This one comes from Jolly's Fashion Emporium. Fabulous bolo. I probably would have walked right past that if I'm being honest. Jello egg jigglers. What? Sometimes the unexpected are just so fun. Is this huge money? No, but you guys, 50 cents into $34.99, I would take that. And this is just the one of those, can I sell it? Church sale, 50 cents. Took a couple months to sell. Not huge money, but I'll take it. Yes, I agree with you. That is fun. Jello egg jigglers. <laughs> Vintage Zuni Navajo Sterling. Oh, that's gorgeous. Another church sale was about to check out when the pastor who was taking the money started talking to someone. And while I patiently waited, I looked through a little table on what looked like costume jewelry. Saw the Sterling mark. Bought this ring along with three other items for 12. Ring sold in less than 24 hours for 100 and $27. Yeah, those Zuni pieces, they are a bolo. The next item is this vintage Carhartt jacket. It is a moss green from the 1990s. She said her sister had a bag of clothes she was going to donate. She told me I could have whatever I wanted from it. I picked through it and found this vintage Carhartt. She said she had thrifted it years ago for $5. I immediately listed it and sold within a week on an offer I sent of $152.99 plus shipping. And no, I didn't split it with her. She's like, my sister gave it to me and it was mine. Uh, flower gems on eBay Poshmark and flower gems thrifts on Instagram. Fun bolo right there. Vintage Carhartt. Yep. Always look it up, guys. Alpha's smart Neo 2 word processor, portable full keyboard classroom typewriter. She said, I found this at a thrift store for 10 and put it in my cart, not knowing anything about it or if it worked. I got home and did some research and found out it's basically a digital typewriter that they can do for, and they can go for decent money, depending on the model. It worked perfectly. I had it listed for a hundred and received many lowball offers within the first 24 hours. Ended up taking 77 plus shipping after 48 hours and it sold internationally. I could have waited for more, but I was happy with the quick flip. I also made sure to reset it. So reset it to factory settings. This one also comes from Flower Gems on eBay, Poshmark, and Flower Gems Thrift on Instagram. The next item is this Blues Clues Backyard Bugs Plush Baby Blanket Toddler Throw. Who knew? It's just a blanket from 2002, guys. Bought this blanket for less than a dollar at a local yard sale. It sold for full asking price on Mercari in a couple weeks. Store is Red Ruler Reseller on Mercari. Thank you for the encouragement and giggles every day, Courtney. You're a treasure. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks for coming over to my Whatnot shows. I appreciate you. You guys, a lot of people um, sign up on Whatnot and they will use their uh, Mercari or their Poshmark or eBay store name as their um, 
name on whatnot, which is a really good idea to help get, you know, your name out there. Um, if you're not selling on a whatnot, that's fine. You can come over and you can source on whatnot as a buyer. I do have a referral link down below where you can join whatnot and get $15 to shop. I am Bolo Buddies over there. Check it out. I don't know if Red Ruler is going to sell on uh, whatnot or not, but uh, she is on Mercari and Mercari is an awesome platform as well. You can get $10 to shop if you use my referral link to join. There are no selling fees on Mercari anymore. Not when you sell it and not to list it. So basically you can cross post your items over there and there's no seller fees other than the fee to transfer the money. I use List Perfectly to cross post my items. Uh, I do have a couple of videos down in the description talking about some new features for List Perfectly. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Check out those videos. They've got some really new features and more coming. So I just upgraded from the business plan to the pro plan. You can also use my referral link uh, for List Perfectly to upgrade to a plan you've never been on before. So just put in Bolo Buddies. Uh, let's see. So yeah, Mercari, you sell $100 worth of items, you get another $20 to shop. So that's fabulous. But you got to use my referral link down below to get that. So what else did I want to tell you guys? I got totally sidetracked. Sorry about that. But um, if you guys are new here, you might want to know about some of those different uh, platforms and different things that you can use to help grow your business. All those referral links and affiliate links are down below. I do receive a commission or money to shop myself when you use those. So I do appreciate you guys checking it out. But if it's not a good fit for you, don't do it. But if it is, it's going to maybe help your business. Like I've got WorthPoint. Um, I've got where I get my bubble wrap. All those things are down below. So check out those uh, referral and affiliate links. Found these sterling silver spoons at the Goodwill bins months ago. I know nothing about sterling. The weight just felt different when I picked them up and paid probably around a dollar or less for five. Wow, that is fabulous. Carried them around in my purse all these months until I was able to go out to this place that specializes in these items. Me and my, she said her and her son, <coughs> excuse me, went yesterday and got 70. I couldn't believe it. More pictures below and a receipt from the place. My eBay store name is Jolly's Fashion Emporium. So it looks like she uh, sold these to a, maybe a jeweler or something, buy now place. So what I would have done is I would have seen what they were going to offer me as scrap for the items. And then I would have probably parted these out on eBay and sold them individually because um, people are looking for the patterns uh, to their sterling silver sets and people will pay more than scrap for these items as a usable piece. Now, what the company was going to do with it that, that bought it from her, I don't know. Uh, sometimes they uh, melt them down and make jewelry with them, or maybe they're going to sell them. I don't know, but definitely something to consider. I would list these individually and part it out. Vintage carved wood. Uh, it's a tiki bar. Uh, it's a hanging. It's a decor, hanging decor here. All right. Keywords are definitely key on this one. Pick this guy up at a tag sale for a dollar about a year ago, and it's been listed since. So it did take a long time to sell. It's a 15 inch long, uh, hand carved, but no signature. I had a hard time comping it because I couldn't find anything like it. So it's an artisan piece. Priced it for 50 just to see what would happen. It recently sold in an offer Poshmark for $42. This one is also flower gems on Poshmark. So yeah. Uh, pieces like this that are artisan made can take a little longer to sell, but can also be a nice big money bolo. This is a rare Dr. Seuss vintage 2001 Gertrude McFuzz bird, bluebird, 14 inch stuffed Manhattan toy. How fun is that? Dr. Seuss. Yeah, some of them are a bolo. Uh, found Gertie here covered in dirt at a little thrift store for 50 cents. No phone signal to look her up, but knew that weird sells. Shocked. To later find out just what she comped for. Got her all cleaned up and listed. Sold for full asking price of $165. The natural state pickers on eBay. Natural state pickers on Mercari and Poshmark. So again, guys, Mercari and Poshmark. Get those items cross-posted. More eyes on your items with different platforms. Mary Kay, a lot of six purifying bars. 0.6 ounces each. These are travel size. How cool is that? 
Um, she said, I found these travel size Mary Kay soap at the Goodwill outlet. There was a total of 14 bars in the bag. I was not sure about the comps, but they individually, they were individually wrapped. I thought, why not? Someone might want them to take along on vacation. I only listed six to see how it would go. My cost for just these bars was 43 cents. I accepted an offer of 19 plus shipping. So is it big money? No, but hey, you see these things all the time and we pass them by and it's good money. 43 cents into $19. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, wow, look at this. Stagle, S-T-A, Stangle, S-T-A-N-G-L, Terra Rosa Art Pottery. Woo! This one comes from Picker Money Flipper. Check them out on YouTube. They have awesome bolos. eBay and YouTube Picker Money Flipper. 15 at a yard sale and accepted an offer of $3.75. Awesome. Here's another one from them. Uh, let's see. Paid 10 for this t-shirt at a yard sale and sold it for 350 plus shipping. They are bolo finders, you guys. Definitely head over and follow them. Here's another one. Antique Victorian Tiger's Eye Quartz Cameo Turquoise Gold Ring. Wow. 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 Looks like they sold it for a best offer of $150 and they got this for $2 at a yard sale. Wow, I want to go to those yard sales, right? This one is a Vitamix uh, blender. Uh, let's see. Picked up for five, untested on Wednesday, tested on Thursday, sold on Friday. Talk about a quick flip. Full price buyer was all in for $180.47. Mercari eBay and District as a thrifted spirit. Now, here's the thing with these. If she would have picked this up and tested it and it didn't work, she could have sold the lid, sold the container, sold the parts and pieces. They are also um, a great item to part out. This next item also comes from a thrifted spirit, Franz Porcelain Longtail Hummingbird and Iris Vase from 2003. New to me bolo, Franz. I picked up the teapot, mug, and saucer for 15 I think, at an estate sale on the last day, about 10 a.m. Undersold the mug and saucer at 50 and hours of listing and the teapot sold in a few weeks for a full price of $88.55. Wow, awesome. Bolo would not want to ship that. Look at all that. You got to ship all around that. Um, I do know that uh, American Bubble Boy does sa sell uh, this stuff. I forget what it's called, but you can find it on their website. I do have a referral link down below for American Bubble Boy. That's where I get my bubble wrap. I have not tried this thing yet, but you somehow it forms around it and it protects it. So if you're looking for something like that, if you have something super high dollar, check that out on American Bubble Boy. There's more detail um, on the website, I'm sure. But I have watched a video on how it works and it is absolutely incredible and would definitely protect something like this. And again, that's where I get my bubble wrap. So American Bubble Boy, they also have tape. Referral link down below in the description. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I am now going to show you all of the colors of hats I have and a new thing I'm doing. So make sure that you check out Seems So Vintage if you want to buy a hat. She's fabulous. All right, here we go. Uh, let's check that out. All right, Bolo Buddies, you know that I love hats and I used to wear the other hats all the time, but I have a new hat in town and she doesn't know I'm doing this, but these were made by Seam So Vintage and I talk about them all the time because they are just fabulous. And she's on Whatnot and that's where she sells them, but these are handmade hats. So this is my green one. It's got these little sunflowers and these are buttons that she has actually hand sewn on. But the reason I'm telling you that, just wait, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing now, okay? Here's my blue one with the owl, and you can tell her what type of button you want, and she can do her best to try to accommodate that, what color hat. She takes custom orders, but she is having a show, a all-handmade show coming up soon. Um, it's in November. This one is an owl, and it is a button. It was actually hand-sewn on, but I just love this color. Here is the original, my first one, and it's just got a fun little vintage button on it. And look at this. These are clip-on earrings, vintage clip-on earrings. This is one of my favorites. I love this color, and I have a couple more coming. Um, but look at this. So this is my newest edition, and this one is yellow, and I know it's big, bright, and bold, right? 
These are clip-on earrings. I bought these actually from Cat Feel and Thrifty. And I bought these from her Whatnot show. So basically what I have done is I am taking the clip-on and I am hooking it in. And it's probably not going to be on there right, right now because I'm doing it with one hand. But you get the idea. You clip it in and then you can change out your uh, clip-ons for these hats. So clip-ons, vintage brooches, different things like that. If you want to customize your own hat, you just order it without buttons and then you can do your own thing with it. And I just love this idea. It also gives me an opportunity to go over and support other whatnot sellers by buying clip-ons for my hats and then I can style them. Isn't that fun? So you can either get it plain without anything or she can actually sew them in for you whatever you prefer but uh yeah she's got lots of really cool vintage items not vintage really cool items some of them with vintage accents on her hats coming to her upcoming show so these are the ones i have so far there will be more coming because i am absolutely obsessed you guys know if i find a product that i love i uh definitely share it out Here's another item I bought on Whatnot. Whoa, those were my fingers. Uh, this is my owl ring. This is custom made by Painted Frog on Whatnot. I raided them one night and they were selling custom jewelry. And I just purchased another item and I'm going to show it to you guys soon. But I love their work also. If you guys aren't on Whatnot, it is a great place to source items to resell. Handmade items by crafty sellers like Seem So Vintage and Painted Frog. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that to join. You could use that uh, $15 credit to buy from Seam So Vintage or Painted Frog. They have awesome stuff. So check them out. Um, again, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. I hope you guys will join me for a show. And I'm just going to keep showing you these awesome hats. Wait until you see the colors I have coming. I'm super excited. Um, just wanted to share this with you. Again, she doesn't know I'm doing this, but um, she's fabulous. She is a great friend, and she also helps moderate my channel. Um, so if you guys come over to a show, you will see her being really, really funny in the chat because she's a funny girl. But if you check out her shows, she is very, very funny. So just adore her and love her work. When you talk about quality work, I mean, look how, look how well made this is. Just fabulous. And Cat Feel and Thrifty also sells vintage jewelry. That's where I got my little uh, clip-on earrings from, from her on whatnot. Isn't that cool? So check it out. It's a fun place to be. We would love to see you guys over there making lots of new friends. And it's a live show. So you really get to hang out and talk with other people. It's very social and very fun. So I hope to see you guys. That referral link is down in the description of the video. And I will also... Um, put Seam So Vintage, Cat Feel and Thrifty, and Painted Frog. I'll put the, their names down in the description so you guys can see how to look them up. All right, you guys, check it out. And as always, thanks for watching.